According to the Conflict Intelligence Team, an open source information analysis group, at least two Iskander missile brigades from the Eastern Military District of the Russian Federation are deploying to the western side near Ukraine. Open source intelligence pointed out the movement of several trains with Russian military hardware, including Iskander ballistic missile systems, in a video circulating on social media. Researchers from Conflict Intelligence Team states that, according to indirect information from open databases, these trains with missile systems and other military equipment left the divisional station to Ulan Ud and Birobijan 2 station, near which the 103rd and 107th missile brigades of the Russian Army are stationed. These units, armed with Iskanders, are part of the 36th and 35th all military armies. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Russia moving the Iskander M missile system near the border is an ominous sign for Ukraine. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. In recent weeks, Russia has amassed tens of thousands of troops near the Ukrainian border. Ukrainian defense officials reported that about 265,000 Russian troops are deployed within 250 miles or 400 kilometers of the border, including 122,000 troops within 125 miles or 200 kilometers of the border. It was only seven years ago that Russia backed separatists who started the conflict in the eastern part of the country and seized part of southern Ukraine. Russia has threatened military measures and the U.S. has stated that if it invades, then it will hit back with sanctions on an unprecedented scale. Western intelligence services, as well as Ukraine's, think an incursion or invasion could happen any time in January or February. The Iskander M is a mobile, short-range, surface-to-surface ballistic missile system produced and deployed by Russia. The missile systems have been replacing the obsolete OTR-21 Tachka systems. Iskander M is a tactical missile system designed to be used in theater-level conflicts. The system is very versatile. It's intended to use conventional or nuclear warheads for the engagement of small and area targets, both moving and stationary, such as hostile fire weapons, air and anti-missile defense weapons, command posts and communications nodes, and troops in concentration areas, among others. The system can therefore destroy both active military units and targets to degrade the enemy's capability to wage war. Iskander M system is equipped with two solid propellant single stage guided missiles, model 9M723K1. Each one is controlled throughout the entire flight path and fitted with an inseparable warhead. Each missile in the launch carrier vehicle can be independently targeted in a matter of seconds. The mobility of the Iskander launch platform makes a launch difficult to prevent. Targets can be located not only by satellite and aircraft, but also by a conventional intelligence center, by an artillery observer, or from aerial photos scanned into a computer. The missiles can be retargeted during a flight in the case of engaging mobile targets. Another unique feature of Iskander M is the optically guided warhead, 
which can also be controlled by encrypted radio transmission, including such as those from AWACS or UAV. The Russian Iskander M travels at a hypersonic speed of 2100 to 2600 meters per second, that's Mach 6 to 7, at a height of 50 kilometers or about 31 miles. The Iskander M carries a warhead of 800 kilograms or about 1760 pounds and has a range of 500 kilometers or 310 miles. Russian officials have previously stated that the range of Iskander M could be extended if deemed necessary. It achieves a circular error probable CEP of 5 to 7 meters. Iskander M is unique because of the missile's ability to overcome missile defenses. It's rumored that during flight, it can maneuver at different altitudes and trajectories and can turn at up to 20 to 30 G to evade anti ballistic missiles. Iskander M's ability to deliver a wide range of cluster munitions makes it particularly suitable for use against armor and infantry in the event of an armed confrontation. Furthermore, the Iskander M is also able to deliver various non cluster warheads with a relatively high degree of accuracy, a capability which Russian officials have repeatedly praised the system for including during military exercises in the Eastern Military District. Russia says it wants NATO to bar Ukraine and other ex-Soviet states from membership and wants a rollback of forces to positions they held in 1997. Russia has repeatedly said that it doesn't intend to invade Ukraine as tensions between the two nations have escalated in recent weeks. But the situation on the ground indicates that an invasion is very much a possibility. Ukraine's military said in a statement on Facebook, Russia is arming the separatists and is behind the systematic creation of grounds for further escalation at the contact line. Iskander M is a deadly weapon and is virtually unstoppable. The weapon system can create havoc and its positioning from east all the way to the West is a grim message for Ukraine. A statement from U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken sums up the situation very well. We don't know what President Putin's intentions are, but we do know what's happened in the past. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.